What's up, Nom Nomers? For today's quest, we'll be making beer and mustard braised pot roast accompanied with potatoes and kale. Inspired by the dish, Bitter Brew Boar from the video game Horizon Forbidden West. The game describes the dish as a simple but comforting Osara meal of boar braised for several hours with spitfire ale and herbs, accompanied by a large portion of bitter leaf. Let's dig in. Before we start cooking, I want to take a look at the dish in the game. Oh, this will really boil there, broth. Bitter root boar can be purchased from Milduff and Chain Scrape for just five wild meat and three bitter leaf. And if you don't have the ingredients already, you're in luck because they are super close by and easy to obtain. Bitter leaf can be found right outside of Chain Scrape. It's this leafy looking plant right here. And as I've mentioned in other videos, the easiest ingredient to gather is wild meat because you can get it from almost any animal. You'll be able to find lots of raccoons and boars right outside of Chain Scrape. Once you have your ingredients, you can return to Milduff to purchase Bitter Brew Boar. Now, eating this dish should boost concentration regen by three levels. That means we will recover our concentration faster. To see if the dish is worth getting, we will do two tests, and in each test, we will drain our concentration to zero and time how fast it regenerates. The first test we will conduct without eating the food, and the second test we will conduct after eating the food. Here you can see I have not eaten anything and I am currently draining my concentration. Timer starts. And it looks like we got our concentration back in about seven seconds. Now let's see our time after I've eaten the dish. Concentration is draining again. Timer starts. Wow, we got our concentration back in about 3.5 seconds, approximately half what we had before. Given how easy the dish is to make, I'm going to give this dish an A. I like shooting things a lot, so any advantage I can get, I'll take. So now that we've seen Bitter Brew Boar in action, let's go ahead and get cooking. The ingredients for this dish couldn't be simpler. In addition to your three pound chuck roast, you'll need three cups of Belgian beer, one yellow onion, six cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and one pound of Yukon potatoes. Start by adding your beer to your crock pot. When trying to find a beer to cook with, go with the beer you enjoy drinking. Just like with wine, you don't wanna cook with anything you wouldn't wanna drink. Next, you'll want to add your potatoes. I've left mine whole since they weren't super large. If you've got any mega potatoes, go ahead and have them. Following the potatoes are your quartered onions and sliced garlic cloves. Last but not least, you'll want to add your chuck roast. Before adding it to the pot, make sure to rub the mustard all over it and season with salt and pepper. Set the temperature to low and your timer for eight hours. 20 minutes before it's done, you'll wanna add one bunch of kale, roughly chopped. As it wilts, you can tuck it around the side of the beef so it gets more of that beer flavor. And that's it. Time to enjoy your delicious bitter brew boar. All right, let's give it a taste. So I'm gonna get a little potato, a little meat, a little bit more meat than that, and some kale. Here we go. Mmm. You can really taste the beer in this. It's just imparting a ton of flavor into the potatoes and into the meat. The meat is really, really moist, which makes sense. We've been cooking it for about eight hours in a ton of beer. Um, and really the best part, I can't actually taste the kale. And if you've watched my other videos, you would know that I don't really like kale very much. So anytime I can sneak kale into a dish and not taste it is a win. So, I'm gonna just take another bite and I just wanted to try this with a little bit of mustard. So here I've got a good bite. Mmm. That is that is really, really good. It's kinda like Oktoberfest in your mouth. I mean, if you like beer and you like meat and potatoes, this dish is a hundred percent for you. You've just gotta try it. 
Next week, we will cook up another delicious meal, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. See you next week. But comforting Osirum meal of boar braised for several ayers. <laughs> the game describes the dish as a meal. <laughs> <laughs> Comforting Osirum meal, a boar braised for several I ah, hours, for several hours. <laughs> Definitely give it a try. I had the meat stuck in a really weird place in my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah.